hello folks, how are you doing? A beautiful evening sunlight and we are sitting in the M2 CS and today I have something very special. You've already seen the acceleration video of this car, but today I want to compare the performance of this car to other cars that are in its league, specifically driving from 100 to 200 using that drift box and measuring these times. Of course, in the end, you cannot really compare them times on the last 10th or so because it's of course always different conditions that running on different tire size and the wind direction might be different the outside temperature might be different so don't be debating about a tenth or two in the end but I guess nevertheless there's a difference that you can see in those acceleration runs and it would be very very interesting to see and compare the following cars the cars that I have picked for today are actually first of all of course this M2 CS secondly I have decided to take our own Audi TT RS in the game as well yes it has a bit of a less power but of course it has let's say that great five cylinder grunt and it has a double clutch transmission so it might keep up with this car also on a 100 to 200 time thirdly the car that i have picked after those two will be the recently driven a45s and um, yes again you could say this is a bit odd and a bit different because it's a compact class but it has the same amount of horsepower also let's say a very high price tag in that league you could say and um, um, yeah, with 420 horsepower, eight-speed double clutch transmission, it should run into a similar league. And it will be very, very interesting to see how those numbers compare. The only thing that we have to be careful with is that the A45S that we drove, uh, first of all, as said, is not the sedan version. It's the compact version, as the A already shows. And secondly, it had the aero kit with the rear wing, which means, of course, that the numbers might be a bit slower. The fourth car in the lineup that I want to take is the 718 GTS 4. 0. Why am I taking that? Because that car has a pretty similar price tag in real life once you see that and compare it to this car. It's about a hundred thousand euros. It's it's significantly cheaper than a GT4 at the dealerships and of course it has the manual transmission so that makes it very comparable. 400 horsepower is 50 horsepower shy of this one but we have also seen that it has a lot of grunt on the autobahn and really a great pull through number and therefore I want to take it today for this comparison. Let's start off with the Audi TT RS, our own Audi TT RS. So you have just seen that number and the car managed to do a time of 9.3 seconds, 100 to 200. Um, I think that is very respectful considering the fact that it also has a rear wing and that of course that five cylinder only has 400 HP. OPF is of course in in all those cars that we're comparing. Therefore I think it's a pretty reasonable number that this car has achieved. So let's secondly go into the acceleration test of the A45S. Amazing stuff, you have just seen that the car reaches a 9.4 seconds on 100-200 pull through as already seen in our acceleration videos. But there's a fact to it that I found out once you do the launch control race start and start from a standstill, the 100-200 time is faster and actually that shows a 9.1 seconds. So 9.4 on pull through and 9.1 once you are in that race start mode which gives even faster gear shifts. So it's, I would say, a tiny bit faster than our TTRS but more or less I guess it's the same number. And the next car that we're looking at will be the 718 GTS 4.0 with the manual transmission as well. And the car that we're looking at is actually the Boxster version, not the Cayman version. So you could even say that the Cayman might be a tenth or so faster because it needs to drag less weight as the Boxster weighs just a tiny bit more and it's maybe a tiny bit less aerodynamic than the Cayman is. So let's see. So you have 
now seen how we're shaving off tenth by tenth. I mean, I said don't debate about the last tenth, but now we see with an 8.5 to 8.7, those were the different runs that I was doing. You can, you just saw probably an 8.7 in that clip, but we managed to do an 8.5 as well on the drift box. You can clearly see that this one is faster than both A45S and TTRS. So let's head on to the most interesting part and see how fast this car really is. simply blown away. I had not expected that it will be that close, honestly. I was expecting, let's say, a low nine second or something like that, because I knew the car has more power, but it definitely, of course, has the negative effect towards the other ones with the manual transmission. And I knew that poor, probably the Porsche will be unreachable for this car. But the numbers that we just had is an 8.6 seconds. And I actually managed to drive that time two times. So it, it's a very reliable number. I guess under let's say very similar and ideal conditions as for the other cars and that really really shows you that this M2 CS despite the fact being so let's say some of a track tool and a country road tool on the straight autobahn even with the manual transmission is in the acceleration league of a Porsche 718 GTS 4.0 with that glorious engine and therefore I think yeah it's not only the feeling in this car that is great but the numbers also are showing it that this is really really great and um, yeah you're getting a lot for your money said that in the other video before first I thought this car is unreasonable price tags about a hundred thousand euros or even more at German dealerships are way too much I would say but now I understand why the car has this price tag because it's definitely faster than an M2 competition it's definitely more fun than an M2 competition it's definitely more special than an M2 competition and yeah it plays in the same league that GTS or GT4s uh, of Porsche are and therefore well done BMW and uh, yeah if I had not ordered a new car already I think this would be the one that I should have chosen <laughs> 